What's up everyone, Art at Patience Metal Fab, and I'm hanging out in the back of the shop today because the Volvo 242 project is about to get some more attention. Now, if you guys tuned into the last episode, which I'll put a link for up here, you know that Jeffrey was working away on integrating this Cortex aftermarket suspension to the front end of this car. So a lot of custom stuff happened over here and a ton of work over the last couple of weeks. You can see that he's pretty much done. He just needs to basically close it up, which we'll get to. But before that, in this episode, we've got two tasks. One of them is to make some custom seat mounts for the seats that are going into this, and then move to the front of the car and get some engine mounts for the 2J done. Now, I've seen the designs for these, and they're supposed to be really cool. I can't wait to see them coming together. I think we're gonna get some really good footage of that. And then this is all leading up to way more attention on the 2J in the next episode. Now that it's gonna be mounted, we can work away at creating the exhaust manifold, eventually integrating the intake manifold, intercooler, radiator, basically crafting a front end from scratch. So let's get started on the seat mounts and see how far we get in this one.
As you guys saw, Jeffrey made really quick work of those engine mounts. It's a little hard to see now that they're in the bay, but they look awesome. The aesthetic is cool and they're super heavy duty. Best of all, they match all the custom parts that he's been making with this dimple die and kind of circular aesthetic. Now that the engine is permanently placed in this location, we could start building all the components off it. The next big task is gonna be creating the exhaust manifold for the twin turbo setup. So we've got all this space to work with, just really nice in the Volvo engine bay, but it's still gonna be a tight fit because two aftermarket turbos and a fully custom exhaust manifold are gonna have to fit right in there, along with piping, and as I mentioned before, intercooler and radiator and AC components. So there's a lot that needs to get put in this. It is gonna start looking pretty full in the next couple of episodes. So I'd say that's probably a good way to end this one. We'll dive into exhaust manifold in the very next. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to the page, follow us, and stay tuned for the next one.